a lot of brands are really afraid to increase their pricing. And yeah. because when they increase their pricing, sales, like the demand in sales goes down, like their competition's keeping it like at a steady rate. They're afraid to go over their competition. And there's like this, this huge like debate about pricing. So I love to get your perspective on pricing on Amazon. Yeah, it's all about testing it over a good period of time. Because what happens too often is someone thinks, right, I'm going to increase my price. They do it for a week, the sales drop, and then the, the just panic and they put it back but you know it's, there's, there's always some element of seasonality it doesn't matter what time of the year you're in there's always some element of seasonality so if you make any change any kind of a b testing like price you need to stick with it for a few weeks to, you know i'd say a month it has to be a decent amount of time to try and see what kind of difference that's made in terms of your conversion rates but again it's all factoring that back into the kind of like what we use power my analytics for for reporting um you know if we're increasing the price um you know our sales might decrease but what does that do to the profit margin and that's mm -hmm. quite often the most important element to a client yeah we might increase the price but um we're, we're now you know the margins increase so we're actually making more profit than we were when we're selling more units at a cheaper price and also means just having to reorder stock less so but that's getting that balance between keeping your organic ranking high as well because if yeah. sales start to slow down then your organic rank starts to slip so it's a real balancing act of a lot of testing between mm -hmm. um lots of different things and really close monitoring to see what changes your your price changes have on on your on your bottom line